Now that your child understands how to form the letters, it's time to put it all together so we can write some words. Remember the, the word cards that we've studied before? These were from a previous video where I discussed the most important words or the most normal words that your child will see in print at pre-primer, primer, first grade, second grade, third grade levels. Well, I selected some of the words from the packet that your child is being uh, exposed to now within the reading realm and put them together to form a sentence. I look for a big red can. This is not a wonderful sentence, but it did use all the words from the, from the word cards that your child's been studying. This is your opportunity now to explain to your child that letters within the word are closer together than, those, than the spaces needed between the words. So this is going to be a spatial exercise that your child will have to understand and practice. So let's, let's go ahead and start. I. Okay, here's our very first word. So now we're going to separate when we go to look, to, to write the word look, we're going to separate out a space between the I and the look. And you can point out to your child that the letters in the word look are a lot closer together than the words, the, than the words themselves. So here I have another space that I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to move over a little bit farther for the word for. Likewise for the A, that needs to be spaced a little farther. In school they call these finger spaces. Uh, a child might put two fingers between or so, but it obviously on a whiteboard I'm, I'm using probably my whole hand. A I'll take the big red can to the next line. So we're going to go big. The G has the tail on this one. Red, we're going to have to move over. There's a space between the words. space again for the last word, can. And it's an opportunity for you to tell your child again, remind your child that at the end of the sentence is the period. The punctuation mark that tells us that all of these words make sense together. So the, the capital well, letter I ordinarily would be capitalized. That's one of the, that's one of the words that's always capitalized if you're referring to yourself. But this has a double capital meaning because it also starts the sentence. I look for a big red can. Now your child has had some practice with using all of the circles and diagonal lines, the vertical lines, the horizontal lines, and, it's, and has put the exercise all together.